Stay right here to watch the rest of this video, or click over here to get hold of a free trial of Bet Angel, or click over here and subscribe to get instant access to new videos as they're released. Thank you for watching the video. So I've got some general trading advice for you at this time of year. We're now in November, heading fast towards December and winter um, and cold weather and dark nights and all of those things that we, you know, I can't tell you what a shock it was to come back to that having just been over to California, but that's another story. But it's important how it affects if you're trading on racing, how this affects what you do because the first thing obviously is that because the clocks have changed and it gets dark early the racing starts earlier in the day um, and i find that personally a complete pain because that means that i have to bring lunch to to work and i'm distracted for that particular period and i you know i'm trying to cram as much as i can in in the morning i can't go to the gym i have to go in the evening but then it's dark blah, 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 blah. Uh, and it gets a little bit frustrating and also you tend to find the markets a little bit thinner it jumps racing is a little bit thinner than flat racing. There's less prize money, uh, less horses, um, and just generally a little bit less interest. And when you look at the flat, um, it's on the all weather. Uh, so the quality takes a drop there as well. But probably the most significant thing uh, when you're trading is that most of the money arrives quite late into every market. So one of the issues that you face during the winter that's a bit different from what you do in the summer is that money tends to arrive later. You've got longer races, um, and the markets uh, uh, tend to have less time to switch the focus from one particular race to the next. And if you have a load of racing going off on one day all over longer distances, then you may find that races begin to clash. And when races clash, that makes trading um, a, a lot harder, basically, at this time of year. Yeah, and, you, and you have less time on the market. So you're going for this fantastic swing in the summer, and you've got seven or eight minutes to do a fantastic trade that earns you lots of money. And that may just not exist in the winter or over a much smaller time scale. Um, so you have less time on each individual market. That's, that's what I find. I'm busy trading one market, that race starts. I turn my attention to the next market. Um, but it could be that um, I don't have as much time on that particular market or the market doesn't form or really begin to drive volume through it until much later than you would get uh, in the summer. And there really is not an awful lot you can do about it. My advice to you is to set your expectations a bit lower. If you are earning X amount in the summer, you're not going to earn that amount in the winter. It's, it's unlikely to do that. Don't fall into the trap of setting yourself a, a, a target of, say, X hundred a day or whatever you want. It may not be that much. It may be less than that. And then try and strive to reach that because what will happen is you'll make a mistake. You'll try and force money out of the market that probably doesn't exist. So my attitude in the winter is just to go, well, you know what, I'm just going to earn less in the winter. And that's why I work so hard during the summer, because in the summer I can earn probably three or four times as much as I can in the winter. So when I sit down on a winter's day, I'm not expecting to bust the bank and make enormous trades and do huge amounts of volume and, and make a lot of money. Um, I'm expecting to make some money, but I'm just not expecting to make anywhere near the same as I did um, in the summer. And the problem is winter can be hard because when you're not making as much as you previously were, you begin to panic and wonder if you've lost it. The markets behave slightly differently in the winter to the summer um, and the returns from them are much lower. So you shouldn't panic. You should just accept that that's the way that it is and it will eventually get better and things will start on that upward curve again. But the winter markets are very different from the summer markets and you have to accept that and that is part of, of trading. But what you may want to do is start exploring other markets as well with the spare time that you have because tomorrow I think we start at 11.40, 11.50 or something like that and we finish at about uh, 3.40, 3.50. Uh, so it's a very short day. Um, but of course then the football is starting at 3 o'clock so you may want to turn your attention and have a look at football and, and do something like that. Um, but for me the winter is typically a time of consolidating what I've got, setting expectations a bit lower and beginning to dive through all the data that I collected during the summer and start to build models and ideas to experiment with next year. Um, but typically the message I'm sending to you here is, you know, set your expectations a bit lower, don't set them too high, otherwise you may overstretch and fail to achieve them and, and that can be pretty depressing. So yeah, you know, it's a quieter time of the year, accept that, spend a bit more time with your family, go down to the gym a bit more, do a bit more research and um, get yourself ready uh, for when the markets are a little bit more favourable. There are some peak moments as we go through the winter 
but typically it will be a little bit quieter. So always bear that in mind when you're trading at this time of year. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, then why not visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial.